how to change the fill color of a vector shape in Photoshop. Let's just go back to the start. So let's just go down over here and you've got all these tools, rectangle, ellipse, and so on. I'm gonna go with the ellipse tool, create a circle. Go up here and select shape. You've got the color here, the fill color. You can click here and you can say, set it to green. So green and then apply. And there it is, it's applied in green. But say you want to change it, you suddenly think, you know what, I don't want that colour anymore. Well, while you've got these tools selected, and it could be anything, that's the key thing, rectangle tool, lips tool, triangle tool, select triangle tool, say. You've still got access to the fill up here. So you can just click on this and then change it. Click there, go through them, just change the colour along here or expand these out. So you've got RGB, that's not a huge selection here. But there's some more in there, so you can select that. Go through the different colors, select any of them. You can also click here. So click there, and you can change color. Just go through, make it dark. This is using the color picker. Click OK. That might be more useful, actually just using there. So simply click and just change it there. OK, it gives you even greater range. Another option, of course, with this, as long as you're using this option here, you can go here to gradients, so click there, and you can set it to a gradient. You also click here and patterns. And also, if you want, you can set it to nothing. So you just click there and it's that's it. You've got no fill whatsoever. But I'm going with this one, which is the first option there. I'm gonna go with that one. So you've got a change of the color. That's with that tool, those tools selected. So you've got another tool selected. I'm just gonna go with another tool. This one, the move tool but it could be any other one. Burn tool, dodge tool, etc. So move tool. Now you'll notice along here in the control bar, there's no option for that, changing the color. So how do you change it now? Well, you can go to window and you've got layers. You've got swatches and you've got properties. Weirdly, that's not for some reason not marked, but still that needs to be available as well. Doesn't need to be available. You can just do it via layers. So you just go over here to ellipse, double click. After double click, and it will bring up this color picker again. And you can run through the colors. Just run through it and just select that. And you can also change it here, you manually just change it, maybe 23 or 56 and so on. Just change the colors via that. You've also got color libraries, so you can run through those if you want to, just select one of those instead. Or picker, go backwards and forwards between the two and click OK. So you can see you can change it simply by just double clicking and again going with this one and going for say blue and clicking OK. There's another option, there's a few other options so I'm just going to show you. Go to layer and layer content options, click there and you get the color picker again. So exactly the same as before, you can just change, turn it around, make it darker or lighter, change the color, maybe make it yellow. And again, you've got add swatches, you can change these settings here. So you can say, oh, I don't want it like that. I can go for 60 or maybe 45 or 55 and so on. Just run through the different thing to get the color you want. And again, you can tweak it up and down like that, make it darker or lighter and click OK. Another option, again, this is with, obviously with not these vector tools selected, but any of the other tools. So if I go and select another one, let's just select another one, maybe this one. So I'm just showing you, you can select any of the other tools. You can still, as long as this shape is selected, you've got this access here, properties panel. Find that in window and properties. Oh, it is there now. Go down here to appearance and you can click here on the fill and now, You've got options again with the gradient, so you can go there, solid color, gradient, backwards and forwards. So you can select those if you wish, but I'm gonna go with solid color. So again, solid color, and you can click here, make it red, green, blue, just run through them, or use the various swatches here. You can also click here. Again, that will bring up this color picker, and you can turn around and say, you know what, I want it to be red, or lighter red, or pink, click OK. So you've got those options. You've also got exactly the same over here, swatches panel. Again, window and swatches. 
So there, window and swatches. And you've got all the colors, whole, whole range of colors anyway. You can simply go to pastel, click there. And again, as long as this shape is selected, that's the key thing, you can just simply click and apply. So green, purple, just run through them. And you see, as you add, click there, you'll notice it's added along this top. So you can go back to it. So you might have like 30 shapes. You've got like a certain colors you want to apply all the time. Well, simply just use along here. So you've got your 12 or whatever it is, different swatches that you can use. So simply click there and you can apply. So that's run through of those, but you can also of course use it for other tools as well. So go down here and custom shape tool. So custom shape tool, any of the tools, any of the shapes. So you've got here, obviously there's a very limited selection. You can also add via the window and shapes. You can add your legacy ones as well, as well as of course creating your own. So let's just go with the current shape there. Again, it's a shape layer and it will be applied with this fill here. This is the green, so just gonna apply it and there's it applied. Exactly the same as before with any of these tools, say rectangle tool, so select that, go up here and you can change the color here. So fill, I can go for purple, run through these colors, select it here and expanded and swatches, pastel, just run through, just click and you can see you get the colors there. You can also of course change it to gradient or patterns as well. But exactly the same as before, if you just go over here, say to the move tool, so select a different tool completely, long as the tiger is selected, double click, and you can bring this up. And again, you can change the color picker, make it lighter blue or green, just slide that up and down, maybe make it orange, and then click OK. And again, you've got the color change. Double click, change it to blue, and click OK. As before, go to Layer and Layer Content Options, and you can change color there. So again, you can go backwards and forwards, and maybe make it red or pink. Go to properties, click there and run through those or go to the swatches panel. And again, just simply click along here or click here in the swatches. Now another option, which I haven't added, but you can also use, just go to layer and down to here, layer style. Go down to color overlay, so select that. In this case, you'll get overlay. Now the other color is still there. So the orange is still there. You can still see it over here as orange. You won't be changing that. But what you can then do is add color overlay and you've got the color here. So you can click here and then you go maybe go for red. Again, apply it as red. You can change the opacity. You can also change blending modes. So you just run through those, lighten, darken, etc. of difference and then click OK. So it's applied as a style. You of course can add other styles as well. Click OK. But you can still see over here in the fill, it's still the same as before. So again, click there and you can change that. And as you change it, now what happens if you go for red, see, because the other one was red, the difference between the red and red is black. But you can change it to blue and you can see you can create some interesting color designs that way. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please leave me a comment or two. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.